Hey everyone, Hades here. This is the Leapster Explorer. It was released in 2011 from Leapfrog as an educational gaming handheld for younger children. Obviously, I don't really need the lessons from Mr. Pencil Saves Doodleberg on this thing anymore, so I found another way to use it. This is how I turned the Leapster Explorer into a retro emulation handheld. So this is what it means to be living in darkness. Alright, let's talk about what this conversion entails and what you should expect if you do this yourself for some reason. First, you'll lose all of your save files and profiles from the original Leapster firmware. Second, you'll basically be limited to Game Boy and Game Boy Color only, even though Mega Drive, Master System and NES are available to use due to the low powered specs and the lack of four face buttons. Third, you'll need a Linux machine, and I personally couldn't get a uh, Windows subsystem for Linux to work. You can use a virtual machine, but make sure it has the ability to pass through USB devices. I suggest VMware Workstation, as that pops up a message every time a new USB device is plugged in, and the Leapster like, unplugs and replugs during the process. I was able to do this through a project known as RetroLeap, which is designed to add emulators to this device and a few other LeapFrog products. First, I had to install a Linux VM, which was much harder than it should be, just because of that USB pass-through thing. Booting from a live USB didn't work because the amount of storage given to the system isn't enough to install all the updates and software required, and Windows Subsystem for Linux refused to install the version of Python required to run the installation script. If you do this at home, remember to download an Ubuntu slash Debian based distro. I personally use Pop OS. It might work on Arch, but I haven't personally tested it, and the guys calls for you to use Ubuntu or Debian based distros. Once you've got Linux installed, it's fairly simple to get up and running. First, say goodbye to any memories you might have from the save data on the device. Then, install the required dependencies, those being sg3-utils, python, and git. Then, clone the ssh flash repository and download the latest retro leap release. Extract the retro leap release into the ssh flash directory. Grab a mini USB cable, preferably the one that came with the Leapster, and plug the device into your computer. Power off your device, hold down the L and R shoulder buttons and the hint button, marked by a question mark, and power on the device to enter recovery mode. Once you see this screen, you're ready to install RetroLeap. If you hear any boot chimes or see any LeapFrog logo, you've done it wrong. Power off your system and try again. On your computer, open your terminal and cd into the ssh flash directory. Type dot slash remote underscore flash dot sh and follow the on-screen instructions. If you're using VMware, make sure you root any new USB devices to the VM. Once it finishes, reboot your Leapster and you should be greeted by the G menu NX screen. Keep your device plugged in and your terminal open. We'll need both to transfer ROMs over later. If you've ever tinkered with retro emulation handholds before, this screen should be pretty familiar, especially with budget or older devices like the PowerQD V90 and Q90. Transferring ROMs can be a bit difficult and daunting at first, but simple once you've done it a couple of times. First, let's make a ROMs directory. Type the command that's on screen now to create a directory on the root of the internal storage for Game Boy games. Now, type this command to create a Game Boy Color directory. Technically, you could add Mega Drive and SNES, but because of the lack of buttons and underpowered hardware, I won't cover these systems here. By the way, all of the commands in this video will be listed in the description. Now, we need to copy the ROMs over. To make this as easy as possible, open your terminal and type the following command to create a file structure to store your ROMs. I couldn't get drag and drop to work in VMware, so I copied ROMs over to a flash drive and passed that through the, to the VM. You could probably upload them to Google Drive and log in through there if you'd like. Make sure your ROM names don't have any spaces, and make sure the directories don't have any spaces either. For each ROM, type in this command to transfer it to the storage of the Leapster. Assuming you've been using the commands I've provided to you, this should work straight away. Once all of your ROMs are transferred, it's time to play them. Open the oh boy program and navigate to your ROM directory and open up a game. That's it. Now, let's take a look at the emulation performance and how everything feels to play. Game Boy and Game Boy Color play flawlessly. However, as far as I can tell, there is no way to change any settings, so you're stuck with this color scheme and a stretched screen. The face buttons are reversed, so they feel more natural, and they actually feel alright. 
The D-pad is a different story. Uh, it feels awful. <laughs> Maybe it's just from me being a dumb child when I had this thing, but it's not the best experience. I also did end up trying Mega Drive just for the hell of it, and games like Sonic are going to play fine, but there is some major screen tearing. Although, Pico Drive does allow you to access the menu to change settings. And that's how I turn my Leapster Explorer into a retro handheld. Would I suggest that you do this? Absolutely not. It's a, week it's a fun weekend project and it gives you some experience with Linux, but that's about all it's good for. Transferring ROMs is an unintuitive experience at best, and the game library is severely limited compared to something like the Pyakuti V90 or the MiU Mini. Plus, if you were going to buy one of these specifically for emulation, good luck. At least on Australian eBay, I could only find one listing, and with shipping, it was about the same price as either one of the handholds I just mentioned. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. See ya.